Hi, my name is Michael Klein. I'm one of the admissions officers in the Faculty of Mathematics here at the University of Waterloo. I'm here to walk you through transfer credits. If you're a high school student that's going into University of Waterloo this September and you have transfer credits from advanced placement, IB, CAPE, or advanced level courses, I'm here to walk you through the steps on how to get those credits, what they mean, and how to use them toward your degree. At the University of Waterloo, each course is weighted 0.5 units of transfer credit. So you get a maximum of 1.5, so one, two, three courses as a high school student going into the University of Waterloo, provided you have official final results and meet the minimum for the AP, IB, CAPE, and advanced level, level systems of study. The full list of all the courses for those systems is available on the website. So you've gotten into the University of Waterloo, you've accepted your offer, and then to meet your conditions and to get transfer credits, you have to submit official final results. You submit final results by either sending them by paper or submitting them to Quest account, and the admissions team can help you with that process. Once we receive your results, we're gonna assess you for the transfer credit, we're gonna email you to see if you want them, and if you don't email us back, we're gonna assume that you don't want those transfer credits. The University of Waterloo is going to give you 1.5 units of transfer credit. You can choose to accept the whole thing, a partial amount, or decline the transfer credits entirely. Now, we recommend that students take as much transfer credit as they can in all of their non-math courses, and we recommend that students decline their math courses, and I'll walk you through some of those reasons why. Now, many students choose to accept their transfer credits. Obviously, it will save you a bit of money. Of the 40 courses you need to take toward your degree, you can knock off three right away. Also, it might give you room to take some really interesting courses. On the other side, you can decline some of your transfer credits. You can decline all of them. At the University of Waterloo, we recommend that you decline your math transfer credits. As an example, let's say you get Math 137. You're exempted, you can skip it and go right to Math 138. You get to ask yourself whether or not you think you're ready. Many students choose to take 137, even though they get a transfer credit. They get stronger grades in their first year. They start in math just like everyone else, take all the same courses, and they go into second semester and second year with a really strong math foundation.